Have you ever felt an inexplicable calmness in your home, a sense of peace that you can't quite put your finger on? This may not be just a figment of your imagination or a random feeling. The world we live in is a fascinating blend of the physical and the spiritual, and the latter often makes its presence felt in the most subtle ways. One such way is through the presence of angels, divine beings believed to act as intermediaries between the human and the spiritual realms. Angels have been a topic of interest and study for many spiritual leaders and philosophers. Deepak Chopra, a renowned figure in the field of spirituality, has spoken about the existence of these celestial beings in our everyday lives. He postulates that angels are not just figments of religious texts or mythology, but very real entities that interact with us, often without our knowledge. But the concept of angels isn't just confined to the musings of philosophers or spiritual leaders. There have been numerous instances documented by ordinary people who have experienced unexplained phenomena in their homes. Take, for instance, the case of a woman from Texas who reported a sudden, overwhelming sense of serenity engulfing her home. Or the man from California who was awoken in the middle of the night by a brilliant, unexplained light that seemed to emanate from nowhere. These experiences, while unique, share a common thread the inexplicable presence of something divine, something otherworldly. These instances may sound uncanny, even surreal, but they point towards the possibility of a spiritual presence in our homes. They make us wonder, could these be signs of watch angels? These divine guardians are believed to provide guidance and protection, their presence often marked by a sense of peace and tranquility. So the next time you experience a moment of inexplicable calm or witness an unexplained phenomenon, pause and ponder. These could be signs that you have watch angels at your home, guiding and protecting you. The first sign that you might have watch angels in your home is when you start seeing unusual sights. Now you might ask, what does unusual sights mean? Well, let me walk you through some instances that people have reported. Imagine you're sitting in your living room, engrossed in your favorite book, and suddenly, out of nowhere, you see a flash of light. Not the kind of light that comes from a passing car, or a flickering lamp, but a radiant, inexplicable light that seems to dance around the room before disappearing as quickly as it came. Or perhaps you've been noticing shadows that seem to dart across the room. You catch them from the corner of your eye, and when you turn to look, there's nothing there. It's not your imagination running wild, it's something far more profound. Some people have even reported seeing figures, not fully formed human-like figures, but ethereal, almost misty presences that appear and vanish in the blink of an eye. You might wonder if there's any scientific or spiritual basis to these claims. Indeed, there are numerous research papers and studies that delve into these spiritual encounters. For instance, Dr. Jane Simmons, a renowned psychologist, has documented several cases where individuals have reported seeing flashes of light and shadows, attributing these sightings to spiritual encounters. Moreover, Spiritual texts and scriptures across various cultures and religions have references to these divine apparitions. These sightings are often interpreted as signs from the divine, messages from the spiritual world, or in our context, the presence of watch angels. It's important to remember that these sightings are not meant to scare or alarm you. On the contrary, they are signs of protection, of divine beings watching over you. They are subtle, gentle reminders that you are not alone, that there are forces beyond our understanding, guiding and protecting us. These visuals could be your angels making their presence known. So next time you see a flash of light or a fleeting shadow, don't dismiss it as a trick of the light. It might just be your watch angel saying hello. The second sign of having watch angels in your home is when you start hearing mysterious sounds. These are not the typical creaks and groans of an old house settling or the wind rustling leaves outside your window. No, these are sounds that somehow seem to resonate from another realm, sounds that defy the normal explanations. Many people have reported hearing such inexplicable sounds. Some describe it as soft, ethereal music, like a celestial orchestra playing just out of earshot. It's a melody that seems to echo from beyond the veil of our physical world, a harmony that stirs the soul and brings peace to the heart. Others have spoken of hearing the clear, sweet chiming of bells, these are not the harsh, jarring clangs of a clock tower, but rather the gentle, soothing peal of angelic bells. These sounds are often heard at moments of deep contemplation or prayer, 
as if the angels themselves are joining in the sacred ritual. Then there are those who've reported hearing whispers, a soft murmur of voices that, although unintelligible, carry a sense of comfort and reassurance. These whispers are often heard when one is alone, in the quiet moments before sleep, or in the stillness of early dawn. These testimonials come from people of all walks of life, from different corners of the world. They are the experiences of those who've opened themselves to the possibility of the divine, of those who've dared to listen to the whispers of the universe. But what do these sounds mean? Are they merely figments of our imagination, or could they be something more? Could they be the angels, our watch angels, trying to reach out to us, to communicate with us? Perhaps they are messages of love and guidance from these celestial beings, a sign of their protective presence in our lives. These sounds could be your angels, trying to communicate with you. The third sign of having watch angels in your home is the sense of comfort and peace you feel. This feeling is more than just a fleeting sensation. It's a profound calm, a deep-seated tranquility that pervades your entire being, even amidst life's storms. It's as if an invisible blanket of warmth and safety has been wrapped around you. A comforting presence that makes you feel as though you are not alone, even when you are physically by yourself. This isn't a phenomenon that's exclusive to a select few. Countless individuals across the globe have reported this soothing presence, particularly during challenging times. It's as if a guiding hand is there, providing solace and strength when it's needed most. A silent whisper that says, you are safe, you're protected. Delving into spiritual texts and philosophies, we find many references to the comforting role of angels. In various traditions, angels are often depicted as divine messengers or protectors, their primary role being to watch over us. They are seen as embodiments of love and kindness, their purpose to provide comfort and assurance, to protect us from harm, and to guide us through the trials and tribulations of life. The Bible, for instance, speaks of angels comforting individuals in times of distress. In the book of Matthew, an angel comforts Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. This comforting presence of angels is not just limited to biblical times, but is believed to continue even today. In the realm of metaphysics, angels are considered as energy beings who interact with us in subtle ways, often radiating a comforting energy that we can sense. This energy can manifest as a feeling of warmth, a gentle breeze, or even a sense of peace and calm that seems to come from nowhere. This profound peace, this sense of comfort, can be a powerful sign of angels watching over you. It's as if they are whispering to your soul, you are loved, you are protected, you are never alone. This peace and comfort could be your angels watching over you. Recognizing these signs is just the first step. As we delve into the realm of the spiritual, the journey becomes profoundly personal, yet universally shared. A divine dance, if you will, between the mortal and the celestial. The signs you've learned about today, they're not mere happenstances. They're a divine invitation, a celestial nudge, signaling you to go deeper, to foster a connection with the spiritual beings watching over you. The world's spiritual leaders and ancient texts echo this sentiment. The Dalai Lama, for instance, encourages us to open our arms to change, but don't let go of your values. Change, in this context, refers to the acceptance of the divine presence in our lives. Our values, the essence of our being, become the anchor as we navigate these spiritual waters. Similarly, the Bhagavad Gita, an ancient Indian spiritual text, advises us to surrender ourselves unto the divine, suggesting a complete acceptance and acknowledgement of the spiritual signs we encounter. It's a call to embrace the divine, to allow it to permeate our lives, to guide us, and to provide comfort. Rumi, the 13th the century Persian poet and Sufi mystic, poetically captures this sentiment when he says, the wound is the place where the light enters you. Our vulnerabilities, our wounds, are where these watch angels often make their presence known. They're the points of connection, the gateways to a deeper spiritual relationship. So, as we conclude, remember that these signs are not mere oddities. They're divine whispers, subtle nudges from your watch angels, beckoning you to engage, to listen, and to embrace the divine. It's an opportunity to deepen your spiritual journey, to foster a connection that transcends the physical realm. So open your heart and your mind and embrace the divine presence of your watch angels.